So this week, we will find out who is the 2020 Florida Blue Duval County Teacher of the Year. The Eddie Awards are this Friday. And all week, we want to introduce you to the top five finalists this year, starting with Carol Thomas, who teaches at Dinsmore Elementary School. Good morning. Carol Thomas joins us, joins us now here this morning. I just love your reaction. So yeah. what, what was the clue to you that you knew that this was it? Was it seeing Dr. Diana Green or seeing the principal? I didn't think anything when Miss Reese walked in, but right. it was just the steady flow of people coming in. I thought, oh boy. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> and, and the reaction certainly of your students as well. They're so young. They, they're so proud of me. They tell me all the time, we're helping you, Miss Thomas. We're helping you win. <laughs> Oh, I love that. So now you've had some real successes specifically in reading and math scores. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, our students take an iReady diagnostic at the yeah. beginning of the year and mid-year and at the end of the year. And just to help motivate them, I just, um, I'm a big believer in teaching them to have a growth mindset. And that is just to believe that they can. If, yeah. To have confidence in them, their ability and to know that it's okay to make mistakes. And it's perseverance and effort that matter. So when they have that kind of growth mindset, the, the scores speak for themselves. They, they, they know they can do it, and they do it. Well, so and I, I want to brag on you just a little bit here. So according to the information I have from the district, the math scores have increased 58 points and reading 81 points. That is incredible. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So um, one of the things that I was reading about in your bio is um, kind of based on your life story that you consider yourself an overcomer. So can you explain what is it about your life story that really helps you motivate the kids in the classroom? I try to teach my kids that it's okay to make mistakes. Um, we learn from our mistakes. And I did not go to college straight out of high school. I was 42 years old wow. before I went to college to become a teacher. I was inspired by a woman I met at the Jacksonville Children's Commission who just had confidence in me and, and let me know that I could do it. And I went to college and graduated, and now I'm a public school teacher. Wow. I did it. And six years later, and you have yes, been nominated <laughs> yes, as Teacher of the Year. That is quite, that's quite an honor. Thank you. So what do you owe your success to at this moment? That growth mindset. I guess it, anybody that knows me knows. <laughs> I don't like to get out of my comfort zone, but if I'm teaching my students to have that growth mindset with the confidence in their ability and to believe they can, I have to be the same way and it's okay to take a risk. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing your story with us. I appreciate it. I know we took you out of your comfort zone by putting you here in the spotlight. <laughs> You're very humble, I can tell, and congratulations to you and thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank it you. sounds to me like your students at, at uh, Dinsmore Elementary are, are blessed to have you thank in you. the classroom every you. single day. So this year's Eddie Awards will take place, as we mentioned, on Friday, January 17th at the Hyatt Regency downtown. Now, tomorrow at 815, we will be speaking with another one of the candidates, Michael Hamm, who's from Gilbert Middle School. So we hope you will join us all week as we honor these teachers for all that they do in the classroom for your students.